Welcome everybody, my name is Witchet and I am your generic merchant. Now if you've read the title, before you come get your medieval pitchforks and start mobbing me for my unpopular opinion on art, just understand that I am but a simple merchant. Now before you also put me in the Canterbury Tales of the Middle Ages with the rest of the Middle Aged merchants, I must inform you of a tale that is not so Canterbury tale. Yes, that does mean that this is a story time. Let's go British literature, okay. We begin our tale back in the day when there was no digital art in my life. Guys, I'm not actually that old, oh my God. I think we're taking this about maybe a year ago, 2018, late 2017. Basically, I haven't been doing digital art for very long. Surprise, surprise, I've only done digital art for about a year now. Basically, when I started my channel, so not even, yeah, not even a year, so like six months, not even. Okay, so that gives you a good time frame. Well, we start off with my lovely ex-girlfriend. She had let me borrow her bamboo tablet that she had lying around the house, so I said, Hook me up, fam -a -lam, because fam was a fading relative term back then. It's just as bad to say it as lit. Get Liddy up in here, fam! Take that seven dab, fam! Come on now! We dabbed on our haters back in the day. So she let me borrow her tablet, and I had Krita. And I had that tablet for all of three days because she wanted it back. <laughs> and Krita crashed. How dare you, Krita, be too intensive for my really old computer! I should sue you, girl. I'm just kidding. Crit is a really good painting program. I'm sad that my computer can't run it, but I will have to try again because I have fixed my computer a little bit and now it runs a touch bit faster. But I was, you know, kind of liking the tablet. Now I should add that I wasn't intensively studying the tablet. I wasn't doing anything really intensive. It's more of just like those pre-speed paint swirly doodle things when you test out a brush or two. So that was pretty much all I was doing before I was like, oh, I'm sorry, madame, here's your tablet back. Uh, excuse me. So basically I was like, okay, I need to get myself my own tablet. So you know what I did? I summoned my boy Santa Claus from the depths of the dank and dark depths of the North Pole. And I got myself a Gaumon M K blah 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 because don't expect me to remember numbers in my drawing tablet. Jeez, I can't remember more than like three. Oh, well it was three, but so like two, make it two. Galmon, work on your stuff, please. So, it was a lovely tablet. It was really nice. Like, I could say I loved the tablet, but as you read from the title, I despise, absolutely despise drawing tablets that do not have a screen. If you don't have a screen, get out of my face. I don't wanna look at you. This is my new best friend, get out. But again, the tablet was really nice. I'm not hating on the tablet, I'm hating on myself here. This was a tablet with a really nice big drawing space. It had lots and lots of express keys. Like it had 12 and then it had even more soft keys and it had pressure sensitivity. All the specs were really good. It was really easy to set up. If you knew how to plug it in, that was one thing that triggered me about this tablet is you had to just put a little more force to plug it in. It took me three days to set up the tablet before I realized I didn't plug it in hard enough. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, I did not plug in my tablet hard enough. But once you get the basics of setting it up, it was a nice tablet, but I couldn't draw a single freaking straight line. It became a depressing nightmare of me sitting down for hours. And apparently this disconnect, and I have massive air quotes with this disconnect of, you know what? It's supposed to disappear within 30 minutes to two hours of using the tablet or more. No, 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 no. I spent about 10 hours on the weekend, like seven hours straight, then like slept and then woke up, tried again, and I cried. This tablet destroyed me. Forget Santa Claus. I'm pretty sure I misspelled Santa and spelled Satan because I summoned the most hellish tablet I could ever dream of! Oh my God! That's just, the ta like I said, tablet, I have to keep saying this. The tablet's not bad. The tablet is not bad. The problem is me. I'm a bad artist. Now, why am I a bad artist? That's just a theory. An art theory. That's just a theory. A gay theory. 
Thanks for watching. But I actually have a conclusion, a theorized conclusion on why I had such a hard time with this tablet. Now, if you take exhibit A, I am showing you a TV. Um, if you haven't noticed, I own a TV and I own a PlayStation. That's right, Epic Gamers. I'm a real gamer girl. No, I'm not. I can't play games. I used to be on a Destiny team with my friends. We would all play Destiny. And you know why no one took me on missions? Because I sucked. <laughs> the reason why I sucked though is because I had to keep looking down at my controller to see what buttons to press. I could not get it through my brain. The years of playing on my PlayStation and on my laptop and on my computer, never in a million years could I get through my brain that this is where the X button is and you need to press this at this time. My hand-eye coordination is terrible. Like it's absolutely terrible. That disconnect of I can't look at what I'm doing to do it, uh, not happening. And then Joy-Cons were a bloody nightmare. You mean I have to control with a stick how fast or slow my eyeballs are moving in a game? What? I can't do that. That's impossible. It was impossible for me and it made me rage. I eventually got good at some games but like do not give me a first-person shooter like destiny cuz I was so bad like people are like why are you looking at the floor because I can't look at the sky because then my head cracks back and I've just lost my head cuz my head's rolling on the floor cuz I accidentally pushed too high and now my legs on the floor my legs my head my head is on the floor guys please send help someone call master chief please thanks bye so side tangent why I'm terrible at video games is over, but that just explains that I have to be looking at what I'm doing if that didn't stress it to you enough. I saved up my money because I made that realization. You know what? I, I should have known that if I was bad at video games and doing stuff, drawing wouldn't have been, you know, easy. It wouldn't have been easy to do it if it's like using a controller to draw. You know, that, you know, if I'm not good at Fortnite, I'm not good at drawing, okay? That was my realization. So you know your girl, your salty queen, saved up all of her freaking money to get a screen tablet. And oh my god, you know that calculator I showed off in my why do women draw more women or why do people draw more women? You know what? I used that calculator and I counted quarters, pennies, just to make enough to get like that 130 something dollars to get screen tablet because I knew if I wanted to do digital art, I needed myself a screen tablet. And don't give me any of that, well, you didn't try hard enough. Mama Bam, I tried hard enough for about a month and I gave up because I made zero progress. Zip, nothing. If you make no progress in something after a month, doesn't mean you should give up, but it means you should seek help and other options. Because I wasn't gonna give up digital art. Heck to the frick! No! I was going to get myself an assistant, and that assistant is a freaking screen. That actually, the fun fact is, I had just enough quarters to finish off the rest of the money. All of my babysitting money from looking after brats! Although, some of those kids weren't brats. They were delightful, and they love me, and I love them, and they're so sweet. But some of them were brats! And you know what? That's it. I earned my money and I spent my money and I treated myself to a glorious Parbolo Coastal 10. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. My first speed paint on this channel, the very first one from six months ago, is made with the Parbolo Coastal 10. And that is a company I can get behind. Parbolo is my queen. They gave me stickers. They gave me freaking stickers. Yes, the tablet was a little hard to set up. Yes, the tablet has problems. Yes, the site to get the driver has problems, like sending me to someone's Google Drive. Parblo, fix your website, please. Galmon, you also fix the name of your tablets, but God damn it, Parblo. You need to fix your freaking thing. I was redirected to someone's personal Google Drive. That is not something you wanna do. When it's like, oh, can I download the driver? Why am I being sent to someone's Google Drive? Uh, no, I did not. Mm. And I tried to do that again to set up on my brother's computer to see, cause I wanted to do a review to see if I still love my Parblo tablet. And I had to jump through a ton of freaking hoops to find the original download link. And you know your boy, your girl, your mother, your father, your daddy found it. I 
found the link and I am very happy to say that my Parblo tablet is still in tip top condition and I still recommend the Parblo Coastal 10 tablet. Although it's no longer on Amazon, I could not find it. Someone please send me a link on Amazon so I can share the word about this graciously cheap tablet. Yes, thank you. Moving on, next please. Okay, I saved up money and I worked my butt off. I actually got a job for the summer and I worked and I had a birthday. And you know what? I saved up my money and I got myself a new monitor. Going back to my boy Galmon. My boy Galmon trusted me not so well, but you know what? I was gonna try their, you know, their gorgeous screen tablet, the Galmon PD blah, 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 blah. Because Galmon uses too many numbers. I can't remember three to four numbers, Galmon, please. But anyway, it's their screen tablet and I love this thing to death. I love it more than my Pablo Coastal 10, of course. But you know what? Your girl needs to upgrade again, you know? So I got myself an iPad generation six, you know, with an Apple pencil. So you know what? I have spent a good, I would say maybe like $800 or so on equipment. $800 is a lot of money, yes, especially for me, for someone who only does seasonal work. But I do not ever regret any of my purchases. I love art, I love my YouTube channel, and I love being able to have the most luxury comfort when doing my art. And I think digital art is my absolute favorite medium of all times, because why? A comment says, oh, like, why aren't you giving this like charcoal stuff, you know? like." the good attention it deserves. Like, it's good stuff, man. I can't believe you wouldn't rise up to the challenge. Yeah, man, I don't like mess. <laughs> I gave up painting partially because I don't like mess and because of a terrible commission that happened. Check out my other story times, woohoo. But I just, I don't like mess. I like to be able to completely erase stuff and it's really nice. I also enjoy doing other mediums and doing other challenges but my primary favorite medium is digital because it's just simple, easy, and great for experimenting. Digital art's fantastic. Thanks for telling us, Widget. But like, now that you've told us about your tablet and why you absolutely despise screenless tablets because you are the 00.007% that dislikes screenless tablets over screen tablets, all I can say is do your homework because if you're someone like me who could have given up digital art because everyone and their mother loves to tell you how it's not necessary to have a screen tablet. It's only good for becoming more productive and doing art faster and you don't need it. Some of us do need it because we have such horrible, is it hand-eye coordination? Is that the correct term? I hope so. But just that disconnect, it don't work with me, honey. Get that through your brain, please. I'm the 0.00007%. God damn it. And that's why my popular opinion is very unpopular. So we've covered that, but now which it, whatever happened to that Galmon P blah, 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 blah. Well, it looks like this video has just hit 14 minutes. There's a part two. Yes, there will be a part two to this story. You can bet you're pretty little behind that this tablet has not given me more pain in more ways than one. We're gonna talk about how I tried to sell this thing on Facebook Marketplace. That is right. There was a struggle because you know what? Once something becomes, as Ricegum would like to say, irrelevant, you don't use it anymore. I don't use that tablet. It's collecting dust and it's still a perfectly good working tablet that someone can cherish because I'm an unloving father and I can't love my tablet. So I need to give it to someone who will love the tablet. So I put it up for adoption on Facebook Marketplace. And there are so many problems with Facebook Marketplace that I can't even begin to stress. Oh my God, it needs its own video because this tablet, again, the story ain't over. So you better like this freaking video if you wanna see the next part of the saga of the Gaumon tablet. Please let me know in the comments your predictions on what the heck happens. We're done. So this is Witchit signing out. Yeah, so for those who don't click off when I say goodbye, uh, this is for you. So thank you very much for supporting me. Uh, my channel kind of got, kind of got, kind of got a little big recently, and it's been a little overwhelming, but I heavily appreciate all of you. Give yourselves a pat on the back. Thank you so much. I am working on more content. I'm working on many videos, I'm working on stuff, and I'm getting out of my funk from February, my February funk. We're gonna start March off good, and we have an issue. Yes, this is an update, we have an issue. So my mother is leaving for a little bit, so I did promise a thank you for getting me to 2000 sketchbook tour, and I'm 
like really close to hitting 3,000 now and my mother leaves and she's gonna be gone for like uh, 10 days. Yeah, 10 days. So there's not gonna be a mommy sketchbook tour. And I know the majority of you wanted the mommy sketchbook tour and you will get your mommy sketchbook tour, promise. It's coming. Don't worry, baby, I got it. So don't worry, it's coming. She'll wait for you. She'll do it. Get ready. Okay, now goodbye.